be a little too team fire reliant. I think it's bad against Slardar as well, and, and bad against Magnus. So, Warcry is that. great against Empower Corrosive Page. Hey, bunch of gamers dropping the ward, getting eyes on him now. By Solo marching in, and he, they do get Old Man Misery. They're going to pull him back into the crush. He actually used the Icarus dive right as the crush came out, and down he goes. So, Armel in good shape. I mean, OD definitely has an advantage in some ways, but it's also possible as well for, for Ember to abuse this. They get the lift off in the bottom lane. They make their move forward. Decent stun. Follow-up comes through, but the crush is there on two. Sanksa trying to finish off Solo before he goes down, but it's not going to happen. Will they even get this fly Solo kill? They won't. He scurries away, and now Rezo in the river. Crushed again. Clutch Gamer snowballing this lane nicely. Good damage with the swarm breeding resolution. Dangerously low in the armor department. He does stick up. He doesn't quit up the mana for a follow-up Storm Bolt. Unfortunately, just a bit short. And that last auto attack combined with the fade bolts. Absolutely not. At least not as the, the one position that we see nowadays. It was Slaughter having boots and windlace and sprint on top of that. It's just very difficult to be perfectly effective as Sven. But. On the top lane, they put the pressure on Rappi. Sanksa made the rotation. Moon diving him under the tower. Just needs that one spin. Gets off the shockwave. A tree punch will finish him. And Moon makes it a misery getting his levels. And they, they have basically abandoned the full tri lane. And that could be punished as Gabby looks for the dive on the misery. He goes, does have the Icarus dive available. So keeping the vision here. Crush is going to finish him off almost instantly. The Stormbolt not connected on Gabby. TP coming in, but Boomback scurrying back towards safety. Soxa arriving as well. And they lift Rezo. They disengage. Good stun there. Connecting on two heroes. Still chasing. Stun in two. But not willing to commit any farther forward. It's just so hard for them to, to guarantee kills here. Everybody they want to kill has a lot of HP. And if Phoenix goes down, the, the cast range is so low that they're going to be on top of him before he can even banish. So this is really He's bad. Up front. a tiny bit far. Can they commit? They get the chains opening by Armel. Self banish. Not going to last all that long. They've got the lift to follow this up. The crush is ready as well. They toss him back in to the flames. Can they roast him in time? No support Good coming blocking. as of yet. He's a blocking. Meanwhile, Gabby finds a kill of his own on Soxa bottom. Still we on the run. Once the. No oh, shrine! No shrine! Where's my shrine? Where's my shrine? My Where to be found? No well, he's down, he goes. Made him like gold lead, though. Because they're just farming so well in these two cores. Yeah. Moon, who's been quiet. Ebony is close to a blink. He's actually really close. Ooh. Ooh. Nope, no snipe here. Oh. Alright, this is, this is a case where Phoenix is actually effective. Doesn't have to worry about dying, just worried about chasing and doing damage. Nothing else matters. Radiance. Can't mess this one up. Mm, okay. Alright. Neutral stun tonight. You clench in on that one. Even if they do take a safe lane, he's definitely one of the best carries for for ignoring that because because of all these cleave levels. Maybe he could have done better in the in the laning stage with more points and stun or something. But. Poor Rappy, he's been under the gun in this top lane and will be so again with the call, the chop. They get the job done. It does mean this did not catch oh the tree did spot the courier though. They know where people are. Maybe he can use that to defend the gank, but no, Odie's in trouble. He might get the free courier. In the meanwhile, though, Weehot does get caught out mid, goes for the self-banish. Skewer available. And he will time it pretty well, but the Rubik interrupts it. Uh, looks like it should be good enough. But the lift back into the tower. Follow-up damage is there from the Ember. They score the kill anyway. Now chasing for more as Moon's on the run here. Gabby yeah, pursuing. That is a tough hero to bring down solo. But he's trying for it with the shockwave follow-up. They oh. get the kill. Clutch gamers diving deeper and looking for more. And meanwhile, misery in danger oh. as well. Clipped by the chains. He gets picked off just like that. Three have fallen and Soxa caught out here by the detection. Guy has to commit the overgo just to secure his own retreat. I don't even know if he does it. Chaining forward. Armel connects with the remnant. And they get the My kill. God. It's a triple. And it casts it instantly, so. Yeah, a little bit of mistake there by Weehaw. They do pop ultimate. They're going to try to take the tower. And maybe Rappi's going to go for the RP. He's got it off cooldown. Blink call again. This Here time on the Rubik. Banish. Banish this. Mother. <laughs> Effort, but he won't be able to. Meanwhile, on the bottom lane, Gabby finds a solo. Kill Ember, perhaps. There's a little help behind him, but there is a lane war that I believe saw him back moving here, and the quick call starts it off. Follow-up coming through. Decent work done by Weehaw, but a good crush might buy him a bit of time. The egg says no, and now Boombeck's on the run. They could get a two-for-one special. They we're running the map a little bit now. Rappi pushing this top lane. Reinforcements in the neighborhood as Gabby is going to find misery. <laughs> Once again, this poor Phoenix just getting wrecked all game long. Moon's there, but well, not getting the spins that he was hoping for. That blade mail largely ineffective. His fly solo doesn't hit very hard. 
chasing in, but Rappy looks to turn it with the chain, so they really want to commit on this. They're pretty in the Magnus as well, but coming in from behind is the Tree Protector. They get the Moon Kill, that's painful, and now they're looking for Wii too. Boombex on the hunt, has to blink. He gets some crush mid four step away. He won't be able to retreat too easily. Wii getting locked down. The RP there as well, amp damage over the top. Excuse me, Corsum Hayes. Clutch gamers. And Lace or... An urn, perhaps, could be better, Spice but usually Zolo, goes on tree. setting up here with that Astral that he stole previously, and it's on to Moon. Now they crush a bit deeper, looking to lock down Resolution so they can isolate Moon. Up on the high ground, they clip him and lock him in position. The Swarm keeps the vision for now. They chase forward for more, though. They want that Phoenix. He will finally drop the Supernova. Likely futile, though a good overgrowth is setting it up for success. They're not able to kill the second time. It goes Kaboom. A bit underwhelming. They have lost Moon in the meanwhile. There's a Sentry Ward in the neighborhood, and Fly Solo seems poised to punish here tree poking his head up and they find him they corral him with the crush they zap him down it's just it feels like gamers the definition of a five man death fall here as they surge into the radiant jungle oh, no. looking for rezo will they hit this crush chains combo you betcha now the fall of shockwave and he is going to try to work his way back he's got the tree Helping keep him alive, but they toss him, they control him for now. And the Ember goes again, Slight of Fist there, good pile drive back into the waiting arms of that physical damage remnant. We'll finish him off, Armel hitting for all the dagger breaker. But it's finally time for Resolution to look for kills. We're 26 minutes in, but... And he's gonna start now, he does find that Rubik, but there oh, are some reinforcements man. in the neighborhood. He gets off the lift, Rezo not able to hit him during this time. Moon finally has to come in and clean up, but Armel is on the hunt. He's out for blood. He wants this follow-up kill. Finding resolution in the trees, gets the Stormbolt off. He does good damage. Rappy pulling a moon here, whiffs the RP. Oh, the dodge. And now resolution continues his great escape. Rappy, no skewer. Armel. The curse sniper. Yeah, take, almost certainly. Take it easy. Oh, 100 net worth Sentry in the down. drain. God. Does Odd see the Rubik? If so, this could be a kill. Resolution's in the area. Oh, they won't fly solo. <laughs> okay. Time, a okay. That was a little easier. Right. Smoke instantly. They're going in for this. No vision. Clutch gamers could have the edge and in initiation here. Rezo's in the pit and Armel jumps in. He gets the eyeballs to start the party. BKB is ready though, so resolution. Gonna commit for this war crying. Now Gabby jumping as well. Boombax whiffing on the crush. Clutch Gamer struggling to connect on these big initiating spells. We'll tank a Stormbolt. Roshan speeding away on that bug as the Roche gets low. And meanwhile, there was an RP. A pretty beautiful strike with our Mel cleaving through on top of it. Barezo not dead just yet. Boombax trying to hold the line as Gabby snatched the Aegis. The last hit went the way of Planet Odd. Meanwhile, skewering down to the low ground. Magnus will get banished and Weeha's got to retreat. They did kill the Ember, but they lost the Aegis. They might lose more with Moon getting crushed as well. They've got the follow up damage from Gabby, he's able to continue pursuit. Moon's got to scurry way up to the high ground, still the chase is on, and Rappy looking to lock him down, prevent that blink from going. They purge him, they control him, they bring him down. A two for one. Low down though, Armel in pursuit, Boombex there as well. This is a great chasing lineup though. I may have jinxed them, they miss on the crush, but they don't really need to hit much here. Has to force out the egg immediately. They try to protect it and fight around this thing on the southern side. Sven BKB, but the banish is there. Actually hurting this Sven as his BKB time largely gets wasted. Gabby's still committing onto Misery even after the egg. They dive out this poor Phoenix. He's gonna hit the shrine. Tap it for all he's worth. He's got a time lapse back, but it's into the RP. Our RP is just able to find a few. Do they have the follow up though? There was no one able to hit during that time. Ember Spirit. Not dishing out quite enough damage as of yet. Still the pursuit onto Gabby. They can't quite finish the job. They finally bring him down. And with the Lincolns now cracked open, he could be in trouble for round two. Call is there. Follow up Blade Mail coming through. And they do get the kill. So three down with an Aegis. Pretty damn big win for Planet Odd. Looking for more as Boombax and Armel stagger to retreat. Looks like they should make it out. 5x here, a bit lacking on the dire side. They do have the mag and the weaver, but it's a mag buying back without his ultimate, if, even if he does so. Planet Odd sees the initiative. They surge onto the high ground, looking for the lane of racks, looking for the 2-0 victory. They need this series to stay alive in the tournament simultaneously. So too do Clutch Gamers as Resolution beats away on the melee here, rapidly finishing it off. He had to commit his BKB, and right as that BKB ends, the timing's perfect. They skewer back, Moon's there, Potentially to the rescue, cleaving together with the spin. Oh. The Banish may be saving the day though. Nicely done by Fly Solo to keep them 
at least having a shot at taking this fight. Weaver coming back soon. Ember there as well, but being controlled again. It's the egg turning the tides. Ember remnants his way back. The swarm comes through as they try to deal with Mooney's low. Not dead yet. Weha also on the run. Can they finish these fleeing heroes? Even the Phoenix has got to turn down and run rapidly. Weha going for the self banish. Rezo the TP out. Misery too. Whitey's way through the trees. Looks like he's likely trapped by Boombax. Crushed. Finished off. The OD hammer just a bit short. Won't be able to get Gabby. They've lost three, but they have taken the melee racks. All right, I think that's pretty worth it there. I ground probably the dream scenario to do it in. But if they siege this right, just put the Sven out in front. Might not be so easy. And Boombax, he just charges in. He actually finds resolution. They're looking for the skewer back. That's Unfortunately, the angle's not quite right. And now the Magnus has been caught out. They can lift him up, though. Did not BKB. Perhaps the turn is here. Resolution already done half his health. RP gets followed up. Where's the combo for this? Armel has the slight of fist. He clicks his way through. Good damage done on the Resolution, who's now on the run all of a sudden. The BKB's on cooldown. He's not hitting anymore. Gabby can pursue. Chase him out. Control him with the purge. Try and finish him off. They can kite him nicely. The OT's out of the picture for the time being. Gabby's all in on this. He wants this Resolution kill. The egg gets dropped. Trying to save him with the Banish. Charging forward with the Sakuchi. Resolution still being focused on. He's finished off indeed. They got the cleave. They had the connection. The egg's been stolen. It's been turned against them. They're roasting underneath this. Misery's got to cheese and run away. He's going to get caught out. We has in danger too. Drops the hammer to little avail. That's round one. And now time for numero dos as they bring him back, drop him up and down, twist him all around. He banishes himself. He delays the inevitable, but top lane's pushing. They can maybe go straight for a potential lane of racks or force these buybacks out. They get the OD. He's out for a hundred. No fight. Oh, Weehaw had to run all the way from the bot lane to the mid lane to get there, and he was certainly late. Now they got to get in their base and prevent this racks from happening. Dangerous moment here for him, and also maybe for Sox that they've got the detection. They're scouting him out. They're finding these follow-up kills, and man, he melts with that corrosive haze and play. Moon gets the blink call, but it's a bit late. Planet Odd, the story of lack of buybacks, but still no sign of a defense from Planet Odd. A confident position from Fly Soul. I think they're, just, they're expecting the buybacks. They're just not coming. Gabby's working on the melee racks here. Finally, Moon's gonna blink in. Sven's coming back soon. He's got the oh. He's got the cleave. Resolution says, I don't need my OD. I don't need my tree. They'll find two just like that. You blink, you'll miss it. And now Boombag's going to be the third. Planet Odd. It ain't over yet, they say. A quick triple is resolution. Looking for the Octarine now. Really wants that ultra low cooldown. Sleight of Fist did also take the cooldown reduction, too. As resolution marches through mid. We'll take off out the range. He's in pretty far, has the BKB. But they lift him to start things off. They might be able to change stun him decently here. The Cross of Age come through. The stolen egg turned against Resolution at the critical moment. He's going to BKB commit for this. They want to kill that egg. They will do so. Good decision making. Odd. Very decisive here when they need to be. Armel, though, kiting Resolution out. They're going to need the Weaver's support. He hasn't bought back just yet. There's the Banish. Recommitment forward and a nice blink skewer. Catches him out the RP somehow not connecting on Weeha. He's able to walk away. Magnus not facing quite the right direction. Resolution goes back in, but this time no BKB. He can be kited a little more effectively. Weeper's up in five and Odd really want to get out. Oh. The egg comes down directly to the top of Fly Solo. It's a tie back for the Rubik overextension. A, a, perhaps with disastrous consequences, but they go in again. Two arrow crush. Where's that Armel Cleave? Waiting for the cooldown. He gets overgrowth. He gets control for now, and Rezo's back into the fray. But they're working on the Weaver. Very tanky. Very difficult to take down. Time lapse available, but the hammer prevents it. He has to buy back again if he needs it out for 100. I don't think he has a choice. He's got to try to win this fight now. I don't think he'll have another. Ember gets the chains. Weaver's back in, and they find two, making an ultra for the Ember. Cleaving them through. Clutch Gamer sticks. They're still going to push straight down to mid. They want this lane of Rex. They're thinking about the commitment to the melee, and they will go for it. Armel poking and prodding. They force out the Axe buyback, but there's more waiting. Planet Otter just waiting for that good blink call, and then they'll go, but he's not going to have the opportunity to do it if he gets chained, quickly cleansing that off. And now they commit. Armel jumping in. Oh, that's a bold move, my friend. And this time I'll hit him with the chains to get the melee. Still Moon not able to find the opening to prompt these buybacks. So that's a one lane answer back. They look for a second. Now it's Gabby on the top. And Soxa moves in. Do they have detection? Do they have a way to spot him out? Armel out in front. The vanguard for this push. Gabby, not really the carry you want to initiate on. Might have to be. A little zip here, a little zap there. Armel makes it back to safety. And now the commitment, the Weaver gets caught. Oh, he's really low. But the RP's there. It's pretty good. Where's the Sven? They're going to need that damage for Reza. They're going to need it now. They commit the egg. They chop away. Weaver's out for two minutes. It's a long time to be gone for that. Cute up the rapier. 
It's definitely about that time here. It's a little dangerous though. If that falls into Sven's hands, that is a huge threat against them. Yeah, Give this man the empower. But this ward on the high ground is actually so big here. This could be Rubik's death. They're going in. No buyback available on Fly Solo. Instantly gets chunked down. They're going to have to do it. Down two. Ember's big, but is he big enough? The Cross of Haze will help. Sven working on the tower for now. He does get crushed. you got to find that opening for Rappi. It's tough, though, with this power play. They move in with Moon. Whiffs on the call. Clutch Gamers outgun. Underman 50 seconds without the combo, but they do have a decent RP. Good banish to counter. It's only Moon in danger. Armel jumping in again. He doesn't oh, the have the control. The crush might save him. No, the overgrowth cuts him off. Rapier hits the deck. And that's and surely... And all she wrote. They, he'll buy back. He'll try. But now Sven with a rapier. Suddenly a 17,000 gold lead and Planet Odd snatching victory from the jaws of defeat. Surging in. Thrown in jeopardy. It's going to melt in a matter of seconds here. They hang on. They try. But it's not enough. The road ends now for Clutch Gamers. They are not going to the playoffs. Planet Odd getting a much needed win. that.